Hey guys, how's it going today? So I'm going to talk to you guys today about why I chose to end up buying a dump trailer instead of just running a normal trailer that I had. Um, the trailer I had was paid for. The trailer I have is now is not. But there's a few key reasons why I ended up going with a dump trailer. Um, so I decided to start selling firewood again this year. I've done it in the past. Uh, when I did it in the past, I didn't really sell that much of it. I was selling only in full quarts and um, I just really didn't make that many sales. So I kind of got away from it, just didn't want the headache of it. Decided this year I was going to do it again throughout the winter. And uh, I started selling on January 14th of this year is when I put my first ad up. So in January, from 14th to the end of January, I did nine cords, full cords of wood. Um, is what I ended up selling. Now I sold a lot of that in face cords and then some people took in full cords. Now, fast forward to February, it's the 27th or 28th. Um, I have so far sold about 18 or 19 cord, and I'm running home right now. I got the dump trailer on, I just dropped the full cord. I gotta grab another cord and take it back to the same guy. Um, I've done two full cords today, it's 1230. Unfortunately, both of them have been over an hour from my house, so it's two hours round trip just to take the wood there, never mind loading it up. That's the next issue I gotta tackle. I gotta figure out a system to uh, be able to load the trailer without having to basically hand bomb it in every time. Cause that's why I got the dump trailer. It was taking too long when I got to a customer's house, especially when I had a full cord. You have to stand there, you have to hand bomb it off versus backing in the driveway, raising the dump box, pulling ahead, drop it down and basically collect your paycheck and go home and repeat. Especially when I only have about two full days a week because I work full time. Plow snow as well, so if trying to fit it all in sometimes it gets a little hectic. However, I love it. Uh, met a lot of great people. I've had a few repeat customers so far. Um, so the reason I, this year I'm selling more firewood than I did before is I wasn't offering face cords before. I would only do it in a full cord. So I think by doing the face cord it allows people to put out less money and if they want to buy it bi-weekly it works for them. So that's been working out a lot better. I have been some customers that are like, I want one face cord every two weeks type thing. And they've been religiously every two weeks on a Saturday or a Sunday, I get a phone call from them and they want another face cord. So the dump trailer has really sped that process up. And to be honest, it takes some of the weight off the truck. I got a tandem axle dump trailer. Um, it's a three and a half ton. It's six foot wide by 10 feet long. It's actually 10 foot, one inch. And it's a true six inch or six foot wide. Um, it's two feet in depth with my sideboards on it. I kind of want to add another rung of sideboards onto it. I just haven't fully decided on that yet. I got a 10 inch high sideboard on it right now. I'm thinking about adding another 10 inches. So then I would be able to fit a full cord in it without having to stack it. Right now I got to fill the dump trailer, throw it in, get in the dump trailer, stack the wood in there, and then I can fit my full cord in. Otherwise I simply cannot because right now it's full with a slight crown on it. I am going to be doing a review on a dump trailer as soon as I get some time um, and some daylight to do that for you guys. So I'll develop a review for you. And yeah, so those are my main reasons. Um, basically it's easier on the truck, all the weights on the trailer and with being tandem axle, the weights distribute better. And I have electronic trailer brakes now on all four tires. So that's helping out quite a bit as far as the braking goes, whereas the trailer I had before did not have any brakes on it. So that's a lot of weight on a trailer with a cord of wood. You're talking 2,500 to 3,000 pounds of firewood in a full cord. So it's easier on the truck. It's easier to unload it, obviously. And with having the tarp on it, I don't have to worry about um, it falling out. I don't have to worry about the OPP or log getting up to me as far as that goes. So yeah, those are um, my main reasons. It's been a great investment so far. I've had it for about two and a half weeks. And I've put about six cords through it in that period. Um, a lot of the loads have only been like a face cord in it or maybe two face cord. I haven't had a lot of full cords. This, today is the first time I've actually put multiple full cords through it. Anyway, cheers guys. And uh, like I said, I'll be doing a review on the trailer for you as soon as I get some time to grab some footage of it for you. Thank you.